Sounds of Decay 1 is Inter Arma's new album, New Heaven. Inter Arma have been cranking out their signature blend of Black and Doom since 2006. This five piece out of Richmond, Virginia, have become masters of weaving together musical moments of substantial ponderous doom, the occasional acceleration and fleeting radiant melodies. Inter Arma is Latin for In Times of War. And since their last full length of original material in 2019, the band has certainly had its share of battles. Just to name a few, there was some red tape visa drama, drummer and songwriter T.J. Childers surviving a near-fatal car crash, a new bass player, the pandemic, Stace and I peppering them with all questions at the merch table at Hell in the Harbor. I was just telling him he's the next generation drummer. Anyway, they've channeled all these tales of human struggle and angst into this album. New Heaven is their fourth full length, or five if you count their 2020 LP of covers. This is actually an Inter-Arma album that clocks in under an hour, brief for them at a tidy 41 minutes. These tracks pack in more elements and less time, tracks mostly in the 47 minute range. This is all the flavor with no fat to be had. The title track starts with such discordant guitar fluctuating until the drums burst into a furious, a heavy static pumping. Mike Papero's vocals are a troll under the bridge style croak. I had to double check that I had not accidentally queued up a Demolik album by mistake. I was so excited when I heard that. I'm like, oh my God, it's like Demolik. Yeah. The drums of Childers dictates the pulse. Quick, quick, slow, stop, go. Always that pulled down feel of cement shoes in the bass line of Joel Moore, while the guitars of Dirt Russell and Trey Dalton swirl like angry hornets. Violet Seizure, by contrast, feels like the speediest doom ever, blackened all over. Childers provides that tribal commanding drums, while Papiro's growled vocals sound like they are echoed over a cavern. There are some softer sections near the end, but it somehow never loses momentum. That's like the best Floyd title. Floyd never had Violet Seizure. Yeah. I dated Violet Seizure for a while. All she wanted was this, but don't get me something. Desolation's Harp. Shift things back to a plodding through marmalade doom with children's drumming at warp speed under under it all. The guitar harmonies are kind of raw sounding. And with that burbling bass, it reminds me of like mid-period Metallica. Almost live sounding. The riff style is also present in the instrumental Endless Gray. Gardens in the dark and forest road service blues have eerie synth lines with the vocal change to the new resounding baritone of Papera. These kind of sound like they're a 90s grunge song played at a slower speed. I enjoyed the departure from what might be considered typical IA fodder. My favorite track has to be The Children, The Bombs Overlooked that spins the tale of survivor's guilt, the feeling somehow, although in shock, still putting one foot in front of the other, trudging out of the destruction to just survive somehow. Childers is feral, commanding and precise on the kit all at once. Russell and Dalton have echoey riffs as Papera's vocals go from big baritone to a throaty, outraged growl. This is another concentrated, powerful, emotion-driven offering from a band that continues to broaden its sound, spin enticing riffs, and battle-ready drums that will hold your ears prisoners of war until the last note. This ever-expanding push on their musical walls could very well cement them into veteran status. All right, let's play the title track. This is New Heaven. Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. <laughs> 